Huh? I'll never touch a drop, Dorothy, on it. Oh, it's you. Oh, at least someone had a good time last night. Oh, that tequila. Blimey, no one of them Mexicans up there on siesta. What's the time? It's about ten past eight. Hey, well, what are you still doing here, then? I'm going to go in later. I felt a bit sick. Sick? Well, it's not like you. No, I know. Oh... Uh... Up to all hours with that femme fatal of yours, then, eh? If you mean Stacy, she was gone by half ten. And just so you know, Grandad, she won't be calling round here no more. Five minutes and more to kick the door down. Have I done something wrong? No. Just you're acting a bit weird. I am weird. Emotionally weird, didn't you know? Right, what's happened? Nothing that matters. Problem with Bradley? Not anymore. So you did it, then? What? Adopt him. No, I changed my mind. Seems like he did too. He died me. Probably for the best, eh? Oh, oh Stacey. So you're out your pit then? You and Ginger not said a few too many last night, did you? Right, I'm going to my mum's. I don't know when I'll be back. What about the stall? Stuff the stall. You what? It's all right, all right. Yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, right. Oh, come in, why don't you? I'd like a word with that grandson of yours. Yeah, well. And that's why you're working your way through his CD collection. Oh, I'll go and tell him to turn it down. I'm not bothered about the music, Jim. Just get the boy, will you? I don't like to see her upset. So talk. Well, it wasn't ever going to go much further, so I just thought best to end it now. Bit rough round the edges, was she, for your city, mate? No, just a relationship's meant to grow. You've been watching too much daytime telly, Bradley. I mean, if you care about someone, you want to know all about them. I mean, where they're from, what makes them tick. Why do you think Charlie told you about Jane? So you'd understand. Yes, I know, but every time I try and talk to her about her mum, she just clams up. If she doesn't want to talk about what's inside, then stop moaning and try and understand. Yeah, I do, all the time. But, I mean, if she was serious about me... But just because she doesn't drag her mum into every conversation doesn't mean she's not serious about you. I just wanted to talk it over. Or well, maybe she thinks you won't like what you've heard. Well, then she's crazy. Stacy's not crazy, not by a long chalk. That's her mum's job. Mum, you got any plates? In a box, under the table. I've still got so much stuff in boxes, even now. I don't know where to put it all. Oh, I can't find my egg cups. I can't find nothing. Oh, Mum, your sink stinks. Is it blocked? Yeah. I had to go myself. I tried the plunger. I tried to get the U-bend off, but oh, my wrist wasn't up to it. But I've got it on my list. Ring plumber, see? Well, the list only works if you do the things on it. Otherwise, they're just words. List of things to do, you said. Organise yourself, you said. I did. And I am. Oh, yeah, I know, Mum. Well, I'll unblock the sink later. Let's just eat the sandwiches, yeah? Have you lost weight? No, I'm the same. Your boys say you was getting too fat. I ain't got a boy. Oh, that's right. <laughs> never tell me. <laughs> Always sneaking them in, sneaking them out. I never. I don't like to think of you without a boy. What happened to the last one? Hmm? Wasn't he good to you? I don't know what you're talking about, Mum. I saw him, Stace. Oh, it just didn't work out. You expecting someone? Don't think so. Do you want me to get it? No! I'll go. My front door, all right? <laughs> Truth, always hiding them from me, you were. What are you on about, Mum? Boys, he's come to see you, Stacey. And then he got lovely hair. There, all done. A new Andy. A new Andy, Stace. Uh, you can turn the water on now. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Not a plumber by trade, are you, Bradley? No, no, I work in the city. The city? City of London? Yeah, that's right. 
Uh, it's nothing special. I mean, I've only just started, really. Nothing special? I bet you're a real high flyer. Well, I don't know about that. But you never know. One day. One day. Ambition. Do you hear that, Stace? You've got to nook yourself a man with ambition. Posh suits, fancy restaurants. Be driving a flash car soon, eh, Bradley? I'm not sure about that. <laughs> See, we never really had that. Stacey's dad, he worked the building site. Mum? What, love? I was just saying that... Yeah, but I don't think Bradley wants to know the family history. I suppose he was just popping round, but he's got to leave soon. Leave? <laughs> he hasn't even had a cup of tea. Yeah, Stacey's right, Mrs Slater. Um, I've got things I need to do. Oh, but, but, but you, you've come all this way, and... Oh, it's nice for me to meet Stacey's friends. <laughs> Always hid her boys from me, she did. Oh, I never. I just thought it'd be nice to meet you. It means a lot to me. And oh, you got lovely rosy cheeks, eh? Oh, big fat apples, they are. I don't want my cheeks, please. I'm begging you. <laughs> and that smile. The hair, the smile and the cheeks. I can see why Stacy chose you. You've got a kind face, Bradley. And I can tell you'd never hurt my little... Mum! I was just saying... Have you got a pop-out? Out? Chemist. Oh, yeah, I can go later. No, I think you should go now. Still be here when I get back, Bradley? Yeah. Yeah, of course I will. Good. That's good. Having a good time, are you? No, I'm not. I think you should complain and get the price of your ticket refunded. What are you on about? What do you think this is, Brad? It's some sort of zoo. Roll up and meet crazy Jean Slater. I'm not even going to answer that. All right, well, you can tell me where you got the address from, then. Does it matter? Yeah, it matters. All right, I found it. No, you never, because there's only two people who know where I hide that address. What does it matter where I got the address, Stace? The point is, I'm here. I bet it was Ruby. It doesn't mean anything to you that I've come. I just wanted to show you... Show me what? That you can meet my mum and keep a straight face. Well, thanks, Bradley, that's brilliant. I wanted to show you that I care. And that all this stuff with your mum, you know, don't need to be separate. I know it don't need to be separate. So why can't I come round, see you, meet your mum, do all that normal stuff? There is nothing normal about this. My mum or the way she is. She seems fine. Fine? You don't know the half of it. No, but I want to. You want to. Any other day, a block sink would be the least of her problems. And what, when she drops her meds, have you got any idea what she's like then? I'd have dealt with it. Oh, you'd have dealt with it, would you? I'm sorry, I didn't mean it like that. I think she's lovely. Yeah, today she is. What about when she's burning all the pictures and smashing the mirrors and the place stinks like a flaming lamp? That's what I'm saying. You don't have to do this on your own. You think she's just a problem you can solve. Is that a man thing or is that just you? She's broke, I can fix her. Just like you've been trying to fix poor little Stacy. That's not true. Yeah, of course it is. You just... Look, can't you see? If I push you to let me to see more, to know more, it's not because I'm trying to fix you or make you better. It's because I'm mad about you. Not oh, for me, eh? The grief I get. Any other girl, I would have run a mile by now, but not from you. And that's why I'm here, Stace. It's because I'm mad about you. And I want it all. Every last little bit. If I wanted us to end, but, you know, if this is gonna work, you've got to trust me. It ain't about trust. <laughs> the way I see it is. Can't be like my mum and dad, screaming and shouting and slamming doors. I've not got one single memory of them actually sitting down and talking. One. It ain't the same. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We should start right. I mean, I'm not saying I'm going to be down here every week I'm blocking sinks, but, you know, I just want to know how you're going. If you're coping right. Well, I'll try. You will. Yeah, I will. Treats you nice, up that Stace. Yeah, he does. Fancy restaurants and all that. Be driving a fast car soon, eh, Bradley? Yeah, I don't know about that. Gonna make something of yourself. I can tell. Yeah, we'll see, eh? Gonna take care of my little girl. Well, the truth is, Mrs Slater, um, she takes care of me. Well, that's my Stacey. That's how I brought her up. That's Rhea. Oh, mate. Most people, they don't really care, do they? Most people are just out for themselves. Take what they can get. It doesn't matter what anybody else feels. I can't see past their own selfish little lives. No. Have I been mean to you, Stacey? No, of course not. Because if I've ever been... Do you think she'd be around here three times a week if you had? 
I'm no saint, Bradley. But I expect she's told you all about that. Only the good stuff. Look at the pair of you. It's like Romeo and Juliet, isn't it? It's like Romeo and flaming Juliet. Well, so what's it going to be? My Riverside penthouse or the Slater Mansion? <laughs> Happy, that's all. What, Bradley? Nothing, I was just thinking. And? Well, you know, just wondering. What did you just tell me? Okay, um, I was wondering. And don't take this the wrong way, but. No, no, it don't matter. Oh, spit it out where we are. Okay, look, I was wondering if you wanted to go upstairs. Oh, are you going to carry me? Oh, I can give it a go. <laughs> you sure you're ready for this? There is such a thing as being too much of a gentleman, Bradley. Bradley! Oh, hello, love. I thought I've had a bit of an accident with a microwave and some soup. You can't come and give us a hand, can you? How are you fixed for tomorrow night? Oh, I ain't got plans. You? I was just thinking I could take you something that ain't here. And next door. Yeah, just me and you. Just me and you. 